So one idea you should consider when you're finishing your basement is putting a niche behind your couch. If it's going to be on a wall at least. Uh, so mine is just big enough I can set a drink in here or I can put my phone. I've got two outlets in here that are USB outlets. So I'm going to show you what those look like. So that's what I'm going to put in here. That way you can charge your phone, set it in here, and it'll be out of the way. You're not digging around behind the couch. Another thing you should consider when you're doing your basement are recessed outlets. So this is going to sit flat on the wall, and these are going to be in, inside the wall. And it's going to let me push my entertainment center up against it, and then anything I plug in will plug into these two boxes here. And then in the middle, that's space for uh, media wire or any HDMI or whatever I need to do, Ethernet. I can run it through there, and then it's going to go up this piece of PVC pipe here. And that is going to go up to all the way up here. So this box is going to be behind my TV, and I've also got an outlet in here so I can plug my TV into that. Now this is a surge protected outlet, so I don't need to worry about having a surge bar or anything like there to protect it from power surges. Um, this outlet will protect that. And I've also got Ethernet run to it, so I don't have to worry about Wi-Fi. If you want to run coax, run coax. I've got coax down here, so if I need it, I've, I've got it. Um, if you're going to run speakers for a surround sound, run your speaker wire, obviously. You know, do all that before you start to drywall. So this is a recessed dryer box, and it's going to allow you to put all of your plumbing and your gas line into the wall. So that way you can push your dryer right up against it. You hook everything up and it'll boom, just like that. So my last one for the laundry room is this automatic washing machine uh, water supply shutoff. It's spring loaded, there's no electricity, but it'll keep water pressure off of your rubber hose lines going to your washing machine. So that way, if they ever crack, they won't keep leaking if you have a problem. This will automatically shut water off after about two and a half hours. Um, I won't, I can't open it now because it'll actually let water out because I have it disconnected. But all you do is you flip the lever over after two and a half hours, you, it'll, it'll automatically clock back and close. So that way you don't have to worry about it. But it'll give you a little bit of peace of mind. Okay. So my last thing, smoke detectors. If you live in an older home and it hasn't been wired together with other floors, I strongly suggest running the wire to interconnect your smoke detectors. That way, if you're in the basement and there's a fire upstairs, you'll know about it and vice versa, same thing. It's just good peace of mind and it's not, it's not that expensive to do.